there is a particular prophet of Allah whom the Quran gives a huge amount of attention to. Not only do we know about his adult years as a prophet, but we know about him as a child. We even know about the events that led up to his birth. We know about his mother, his brother, his sister, his father-in-law, his wife. We even know the very dowry, the mahr that he paid for marriage. Mentioned around 183 times in the book of Allah, and this is not in vain, across 25 passages of the Qur'an. This is none other than the Prophet of Allah, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And there are three descriptions that Allah Almighty gives to the Prophet of Allah, Musa, that were not given to any other Prophet in the Qur'an. The first of them, Allah said about him, وَأَلْقَيْتُ عَلَيْكَ مَحَبَّةً مِّنِّي I have cast the garment of love over you. Meaning everyone who saw him loved him, according to one of the two interpretations. The second unique description to Musa, where Allah said to him, وَلِتُصْنَعَ عَلَىٰ عَيْنِي So that you will be nurtured under my eye. And the third unique description given to this Nabiul Kareem, Honorable Prophet, is where Allah said about him, وَاسْطَنَعْتُكَ لِنَفْسِي I have prepared you for myself, Allah said to him. What type of human being will a person become when he is prepared by Allah to be for Allah? The outcome is Prophet Musa, alayhi salam. A man whose essence and his ambitions, and his yearnings, and his existence was all for Allah, and by Allah, and to Allah. No part of Musa was for the world of this dunya. Shaykh al-Sa'adi, he said in the tafsir of this ayah, I have prepared you for myself. He said, if a human being wants to prepare another mortal human being whom he loves, and wants to raise him, nurture him, foster him to reach the levels of perfection, this person will use all of their resources and all of their efforts to help them achieve that level. He said, what therefore do you think Allah, Al-Qawi, Al-Aziz, the most able, what he will do for a person whom he wants to bring to the highest levels of perfection? I have prepared you for myself. When did Musa alayhi salam hear these words? He heard these words from Allah Jalla Jalaluhu during one of the loneliest periods in his life. When him and his wife were pushed to their physical limits, traveling the earth all by themselves with basic provisions just enough to keep them alive. Lost for direction, they see a glimmer of light. Musa says to his wife Um Kuthu, Wait here for a moment. I see a glimmer of light, fire. Perhaps I will bring you a torch of fire from it. Or maybe someone will just give us some guidance to help us navigate this terrain. Unbeknown to Musa, however, he was not making his way to a fire. He was being called by Allah Jalla Jalaluhu to stand in the sacred valley of Tuwa to speak to Malikul Muluk, the king of kings, the owner of sovereignty and the possessor of all dominion, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. He stands and he hears the voice of Ar-Rahman Jalla Jalaluhu saying to him, Ya Musa, O oh Musa, Innani an Allah, it is me Allah. And now all of a sudden Musa alayhi salam receives closure. Answers that he needed all throughout his life. He had suffered. And up until this moment he had no idea why all of this suffering came onto him. He was born as a male child and in the law of the Pharaoh of Egypt every male baby was worthy of execution.